Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of audio plugins that I've been sent for DaVinci Resolve 16 that are going to make processing your audio really, really simple because these are pretty much just like one click fixes. You add the plugin, you know, adjust the intensity and it's going to fix whatever you want. So we're going to be able to fix noise, reverb, de-essing, like levels of the audio. Plugins themselves are actually pretty cheap. They're $150 for the pack, but I've actually got a couple of codes to give away. So if you wanna figure out how you can get your hands on a free copy of these plugins, stick around to the end of this video. But until then, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve 16. Just take a look at how it works and what sort of effects you can create with them. All right, guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16 in the Fairlight page. And on the timeline here, I have a bunch of audio clips that I have downloaded from the maker of this plugin, AccuSonos, from their website to demonstrate how these plugins work. So what we're going to do is just quickly jump across to their website, just so you can see what we're looking at. So this is their website. The link will be in the description below if you want to check it out. And the particular plugins we're looking at is the ERA4 bundle. And included in this bundle is the noise remover, reverb remover, the voice level up, the DSR, the plosive remover, and the D clipper, all for $150. And they're all really, really simple to use. They all work the same way with this simple, simple sort of single knob style setting. So you turn it on and you sort of adjust the intensity. But we'll look at that in a little second. And playing around with these, these are really simple plugins to use. So that is the key here. If you're looking for something that's gonna improve your audio quality, but not overly complicated, because look, not all of us are audio engineers, myself included. Um, this is definitely something you wanna take a look at. So $150 for all of these is pretty, pretty good. And if you wanna get it for free, stick around to the end of the video to learn how. So in this particular video, we're gonna look at the noise remover and we'll also take a look at the reverb remover. I would show you the others, but they just don't record as well as these particular ones. It's not as noticeable, um, especially with DSs and plosive removers. It's a very subtle effect, very hard to capture. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave it with these two. So let's jump across into DaVinci Resolve. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly delete everything except for the noise remove one and the reverb. So here we have our noise remover practice audio clip. So let's listen to what that sounds like with no plugins applied whatsoever. If you like this week's episode, send us a message on our Facebook page. Every week, I will personally pick the... So as you can hear, there's a lot of background noise, like sounds like an air conditioning or a machine running, especially at the beginning there. So what we're gonna do is add the noise remover plugin, and it's really, really simple. In the Fairlight page, head on over to the effects, find the audio lane that you wanna apply the effect to, so audio lane one, and hit the plus button. Go down to VST, and here you can see our, here are our plugins. Now, installing them is really, really simple. It's just like installing any sort of program. You don't have to go into any file structure. You just double click the installer. It takes care of the rest. So really simple to install. So we're gonna go to the noise remover and click on that. And right away, it's applied this effect at 40%. And really, this is all you need to worry about. We have our knob here, which adjusts the intensity from zero to 100. We also have our output volume, so we can output it louder than what it comes in as but you don't have to play around with that if you don't want to. Then we have a few different sort of frequency EQ bands down the bottom here. But again, if you're just a beginner in audio editing like myself, just leave it on standard. It's gonna sound fine. So let's have that back down. I think it started at 40%. So let's play it at 40% and hear what it sounds like. If you like this week's, ep if you like this week's episode, so you can hear that that is much quieter. Now I'm gonna play it back, turning the plug-in on and off just by hitting the switch here. If you like this week's episode, send us a message on our Facebook page. Every week, I will personally pick the best comments and read them out on the show. So you can see it does a really good job even at 40%, but we could bump that up a little bit. Maybe let's go to 60. Now if we play it back, if you like this week's episode, send us a message on our Facebook page. Every week, I will personally pick the best comments and read them out on the show. So at 60%, that pretty much removes all the noise from that particular clip, and it does a really, really good job of doing it, and wasn't complicated whatsoever. We literally just adjusted a slider. So really easy to do there. And then once you're done, you can just hit X, and you can see that it has it applied there. So now we're gonna move on to the reverb one. So let's just quickly delete this plugin because it has applied that to the entire audio one lane. All right, so let's listen to the reverb audio clip. So it's gonna be a very, very echoey. 
Eventually, no system could keep pace with the decimal or Arabic number system, which has 10 numerals. So as you can see, it sounds like he's talking in a chapel, a very empty room. This is probably a problem a lot of us are gonna come across, something I come across a lot, filming in a room that doesn't have a lot of audio deadening foam or objects in it to sort of deaden the audio reverb. So what we're gonna do here is apply the plugin, same way, so VST, we're gonna go reverb remover, and let's hear what it sounds like now, just at 40%. Eventually, no system could keep pace with the decimal or Arabic number system, which has 10. So you can see it's quite subtle, but if I turn it on and off, you'll notice a huge, huge difference. No system could keep pace with the decimal or Arabic number system, which has 10 numerals. The digits zero, one. So it is much cleaner. And if we bump this up again to say like 60% or so, Eventually, no system could keep pace with the decimal or Arabic number system, which has 10 numerals. The digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can see that does a really good job. A reverb can be a bit harder to remove the noise because it can make the audio sound a little bit tinny, something I've had trouble with in the past. But you can see that it has done a really good job here with just one single slider. And again, there are a bunch of other plugins there. So not just for those ones. So we have our DSer, which is gonna remove a lot of hissing from your audio. So if you tend to use a lot of sounds, it's gonna help with that. We have our D Clipper, which is gonna help with audio. If you have gone over and you're clipping on the microphone, this can be hit and miss in my experience, just because clipped audio is clipped audio. You know, there's not a whole lot of information there to repair. Plosive removers are for the pops that you're gonna get, especially with P sound. So when you that sort of noise there, um, really good if you're say recording a tutorial, kind of like this one without a pop filter, there's gonna be a really good one to apply here. And then we also have our voice leveler, which is a good way to make sure all the audio is roughly at the exact same volume. So we don't have weird points of high, loud audio and low soft audio. So that's a quick example of how these plugins work. Again, that is accusonos.com, $150 for the entire bundle, but we do have a couple of codes to give away for free, so stick around to find out how to win those. So there you go, guys, a really cool like plugin. As you can see, it's really easy to implement and use. If you wanna win a free version of the Accusonos plugins, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below on your favorite thing about these plugins, and I'll pick the winners in, say, like a week, and we'll send those codes out to you so you can, you know, start fixing your audio. I've been really enjoying these plugins because I'm not an audio engineer, so it's really nice to have these really simple plugins to use. If you want to check them out for yourself, the link is in the description below. That is AccuSonos. They're actually pretty affordable. So if you know you do any serious video editing, definitely take a look. Other than that, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And until the next video, guys, see ya.